When a young man in Dallas lost his uncle, he found a way to channel that grief to help others. Jordan Burke and Kelly are this week's ones for Texas. Here's Jennifer Lindgren. It's really crazy that a man with Down syndrome who grew up in a town of 300 in West Texas is impacting people in Australia, Peru, um, the UK. Jordan Burke has fond memories of Kelly. He spent 14 years of his life as a caregiver for his uncle, and the family wasn't shy to talk about Kelly and his disability, especially when kids asked questions. And so I loved it because it gave us an opportunity to talk to him about Down syndrome instead of their parents telling them, you know, don't point, don't, you know, shh, and then like dragging them off. When Kelly died at the age of 64, Jordan says he grieved. And then early one morning. But I woke up and I just sat down and I actually wrote the entire Kelly book. <clears throat> Uh, that, that evening. A children's book, Kelly and Kelso, which addresses the issue of people with disabilities. And an even bigger smile. What makes him extra special is that he has something called Down syndrome. That Jordan uses when he goes to schools. When I wrote the book, it was actually written for more of your typical child to explain what Down syndrome is. So it's really neat that kids with disabilities are able to relate. Keeping his uncle's memory alive, his love of cheeseburgers and stuffed animals for readers to see page after page and picture after picture. I really wanted to have those things that made Kelly Kelly. My uncle's favorite go to phrase was happy birthday. So at the end of the book, uh, when they celebrate, Kelly says, happy birthday, happy birthday, because that's something real Kelly would do. A celebration of one man's life while spreading a message of love and acceptance. If you have a disability, if you're a different race, if you're old, young, it, it doesn't hurt to be kind. Um, kindness is for everyone. Kindness is free. You know, you just need to be out there passing it out. And what would Kelly think if he were here today? I think he would enjoy it. I think he would love Kelso, uh, the mascot. Uh, he would absolutely love that, and uh, but I think he would love this, all of it. Jennifer Lindgren, CBS 11 News. Just a wonderful message to spread. Thanks to the internet and social media, by the way, the children's book has been picked up not only in North Texas, but also overseas. Jordan says kids in Australia picked up on the theme of love and acceptance and started putting those lessons into practice in classes.